guys doing here already? They're early. Well, then I guess we better get started. Making four pounds again in my special ice cream bucket. Uh, let me get situated. Didn't expect you here for another like five minutes. Here I've got coconut oil and lard. Um, slightly chunky. I let it cool a little too long. Maybe I'm the one that's late. I did change my clocks for daylight savings nonsense. Olive oil, canola oil, and castor oil. So I went to Walmart today and it was a bit of a disturbing experience. What is the reason for everyone buying toilet paper? Yes, I understand that this coronavirus business is going on, but why is everyone buying the toilet paper? Makes sense, I guess, that the hand sanitizer is gone and the disinfectant stuff is gone and almost all the bleach was gone today. Why is all the toilet paper gone? Anyways, I couldn't find toilet paper, but I did find this. I did not know Walmart sold soap making, bath bomb, candle making kits and supplies. Thought that was pretty cool. But I did buy this. This is melt and pour, right? I've never used melt and pour before, so I figured I would actually try it today. I was at Goodwill randomly, and I found this. It's for fondant and gum paste, which that has something to do with cake. I'm gonna try this with my melt and pour. Any leftover melt and pour, I'll make little mice out of. So now that I think about it, I should probably start with this because this is gonna have to sit in the mold for a while. So we'll set our main oil off to the side and open this for the first time. Oh. I don't have a certain weight I'm trying to reach. I'm just seeing how much I'm putting in. I don't know if this brand is like well received among the soaping community. I've never heard of it. It was a complete accident that I bought this today. Well, I purposefully bought it, but I accidentally found it. I think you guys know what I mean. I think I'm going to do one row. 8.7 ounces of do-it-yourself white soap base. Now I'm going to chop it into chunks because that's what the instructions say to do. Okay, now I am going to melt this. Okay, this is looking pretty um, melted and pourable. I'm going to add a teaspoon of this maroon bronzy color. It's looking pretty not mixed all the way. I don't know, but I think I'm going to pour it now. But here goes a learning experience. These are so shallow, I hope I can get this done. Definitely is a different texture or consistency than cold process. It said that this should be done in like 30 minutes. So I figured I'd make my soap while this is happening. It's kind of a messy one, isn't it? It doesn't want to run into their tails. Whoa! Not that full, Shauna. Way too full. Goodness gracious. Looks like I can still kind of scoop it. Alright, well, if you got any melt and pour tips for me or if you thought that was sufficient, let me know. I'm going to set these off to the side and we will move right along to our base soap. My oils have cooled down a lot by now. 89 degrees. Boy, I never soap this cold. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and add my mica to my oils this time. And I'm just going to use this pale pink. I'm going to go ahead and stick blend my oils with the mica. Kind of a rosy pink color. Now I'm going to add my lye water, which has powdered sugar and salt. Not as much salt as last time. Okay, and now I'm going to add my fragrance, which is... I don't have my gloves on. Okay, now we're going to add our fragrance, which is called Avalon. This was a gift from Renee. It's almost fruity-ish. It's, a, it's a, a sweet smell and maybe even a little bit flowery, possibly. I sometimes have a hard time uh, describing. I'm going to pour off just a little bit of this soap. And then inside the soap, we're going to add soap shreds. don't think I'm forgetting anything. I was just going to add a little bit of black. The whole reason I was in the craft section at Walmart and why I accidentally found that they sell a minimal amount of soap making stuff. So 
So I was looking for 100% cotton yarn because I am starting to make some washcloths that you can actually wash and use and everything like that. And I'm crocheting them because I don't actually know how to knit yet. I think for fun I'm going to do a hanger swirl and see what happens. And then we'll go around the sides. Trying to decide how to move them. Wow, I almost made a huge mess. Well, look how pretty. Tiny little thing. These are pretty. Too bad there's only one on here. These mice come out pretty easily. I love silicone molds. Oh my goodness. I just dropped it in my soap. It flew into my soap. Do I wash it off? Well, I went and rinsed them off and now it's all wet. Shouldn't be unmolding stuff right next to my wet soap, I guess. But I'm gonna continue. Now I'm gonna put some mice on the top. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put some mice on the top. I'm gonna use those mice for something else. This is tomorrow, which is today. Oh wow, it's coming out super easy. That's my favorite. Nice and easy. Are you ready? Let's begin. Wow, that was nothing like what I was expecting. It's super cool looking. You got this cool curly Q down here and a curly Q and here's my swirl of the black. Ooh, interesting. And there's my top, my little bit of decoration. When discussing the uh, coronavirus, most of the people who are dying from the coronavirus are older people and a lot of the people between 20 and 40 or something like that are recovering pretty well from it. At least at this point in the news, nobody under 10 has caught the coronavirus. Even when they are trying to infect young lab mice because they're trying to find a cure, even when they tried to infect the young ones, they weren't catching the virus, which is very fascinating. Nobody knows why. So that makes it very unique. It's so weird that here in the Midwest, People are panicking so much. We're not even close to the coast. Remember I poured the black like up here? How did it end up down here? Whoa, that's a busy one. Very busy. It kind of smells like a lotion you'd use in the summertime. Looks very similar to the other bars. So I hear that there are a few countries who are being basically closed. I heard that, at least for now, there is no travel from Europe to the U.S. And I'm very curious if those of you who are watching, if any of you are truly being affected by this. I currently am not, besides the fact that I can't buy toilet paper. I'm not spending much time keeping up on the story because I really don't know what's true and what is story. Many times I really don't believe the news and many more times I do not believe the news on the internet. I especially ignore the garbage that gets shared on Facebook, especially when it comes to politics. I don't believe any of it. Facebook is the worst place to be if you think you're looking for accurate political news. It's just a big garbage pile that needs to be burned. I wonder how long Facebook will last. I'm on Facebook because there's several family members, which is something that you hear a lot. There's several family members on Facebook that I otherwise wouldn't know anything about. And then I follow several groups that are fun. Like I follow a, quite a few rat groups. I follow plant groups because I like plants. Got my soap group, which is you guys. 
yeah I just I don't like Facebook because of how much trash is on it and this was the final cut you guys I'm tired of talking about Facebook how about we stamp these soaps do you guys remember what Nazumi means and in what language whoever can answer that question will get a big old comment from me telling them how right they are for extra credit you can tell me why I named my soaps Nazumi soaps I heard plane tickets are pretty cheap right now, so if you want to go on some vacation. Anyways, thank you, my sweet viewers, for watching. I'm always impressed when somebody manages to watch the whole video. Don't forget, not only do you need to wash your hands, but you need to remember to wash the rest of your body too, okay? Everybody will appreciate that.